Captain Forest here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over both these combatants to see who would win, more often not, in a cross first situation. Captain Marvel from Marvel 616 versus Shazam from DC Comics. Now, before I start this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and give your feedback in the comment section. And make sure you subscribe, of course, for further content. Shouts to the Cough Shop Gang, they make awesome content. Their links will be in the description, and also shouts to the HQ Squad, massive shouts to the team, their links will be in the description. Now, in terms of Captain Marvel, I've already made a video on Carol Danvers herself, please check that out. I made a video on that on Corin's channel, and I also made a matchup for her as well. I did Captain Marvel vs Starfire, so check those videos out. Her scaling is in those videos, I will leave links to those videos. But anyway, I'm going to move on and talk about... Shazam. So in order to determine where Shazam would scale, I must cover some things. So recently, Shazam has received a power increase from a future Black Adam. Shazam notes that future Black Adam's powers gave him much more power than he ever had before, and Shazam would scale to all of Black Adam's feats. This would include the feat where Black Adam was able to use his lightning to break the Great Darkness's chains that were attached around Darkseid. We even see Black Adam one-shot and zap Pariah with his lightning too. We've seen Shazam physically hurt Superman with his magical lace punches. Superman compares Wonder Woman and Shazam in terms of strength. Shazam is stated to be one of the strongest heroes on the planet alongside Martian Manhunter, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Shazam and Black Adam have gone at it with each other and Shazam has shown to hold his own and at times even get the upper hand on Black Adam. So that's going to round up Shazam's AP feats. As for speed, he should easily range from immeasurable to relevant speed consistently. He can also go through linear time with pure speed which is easily an immeasurable speed feat. We've seen Shazam tag Superman. Superman himself has impressive feats such as keeping pace with Jay Garrick and Wally West while they were chasing the reverse flash to the past. Wally West was able to run to the 853rd century. We've seen Superman outpace reality blitzing missiles that were sterilized in the continuum and Superman can move inside the source where there is no direction. So yeah, that's pretty consistent for Shazam. So why don't we move on to his abilities and all that good stuff. So Shazam's powers come from the Greek pantheons. Shazam has the strength of Hercules, wisdom of Solomon, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, and the invulnerability of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. The wisdom of Solomon supports Shazam and gives Shazam information and guidance. This is demonstrated when Solomon gives Shazam information on an enemy he doesn't have any knowledge on. Solomon will reveal everything about his opponent to Shazam, such as their powers, how their powers work, their weaknesses, what traps and tricks to look out for, and how to defeat his, his enemies in combat. Shazam's iconic ability is his magical lightning. When he calls upon the name Shazam, a bolt of lightning will strike down. It's used to transform him back into his young self, but he's used this method to fry his opponents who come into contact with that lightning. He can also create lightning spears and throw them at his opponents or shoot lightning out. He can lace his fists with this magical lightning too. Now the properties of his lightning is magic based and the inherent properties of magic is fundamental and supernatural and it bypasses conventional means. The God Sphere is what gives creation its magic. Shazam has shown some other hacks, such as turning sand warriors into glass and thanks to Shazam's magical invulnerability he was able to survive a tesseract bomb turning his flesh inside out and notes that the other league members would not have survived. So that's going to round up both these combatants. I'm going to go ahead and talk about who I think wins more often not in a cross first situation. So let's break down stats shall we. So in terms of AP, they're pretty relative. Definitely some outerversal arguments for Shazam physically. Definitely scaling to Superman so I think they're pretty relative in that department. But when it comes to that magical lightning which is easily high outerversal, maybe even boundless. I think that magical lightning is just vastly vastly above Captain Marvel. It just has way too many feats. It's pretty it's pretty strong and especially the scaling that Shazam has from Black Adam and scaling to Black Adam. He would scale to all his feats especially with the power upgrade which he received. So the magical lightning would definitely scale above 
Captain Marvel in that in that department. Physical AP, I say they're pretty relative, easily like outer versal, so it's pretty consistent. Speed, I do award speed to Shazam. He's just way too fast, has better speed feats. Even if we try our best to get Captain Marvel to irrelevant speed, she's barely just scraping the barrels of irrelevant speed. That's if we really highball and push her speed scaling. I just think Shazam is just way too fast. Now, when it comes to battle, Shazam has his win cons. I think a lot of his win cons will help him in this fight, especially his lightning. I think if that lightning touches Captain Marvel, if, if she gets smited by it, that's a GG. The lightning is just way too fundamental for Captain Marvel's pay grade. I don't think she's going to be able to absorb something of such a high caliber level. It's just way too fundamental and it just scales above her. Uh, it's like on a cosmological scale. Like the, the lightning is just built different. And the feats that the lightning has uh, shown, especially what Shazam and Black Adam have used the lightning for, really impressive. So I think if that lightning touches Captain Marvel, I think that's a GG. However, Captain Marvel does have her wing cons, of course. She does have physical AP, her energy absorption. So she definitely would be able to take like normal vanilla attacks from Shazam, which would amp her. However, I do think that in character Shazam pretty much starts off with lightning a lot and I think if he goes in and he punches Captain Marvel with that lightning imbued punch I think that's going to one shot I think that's going to be a GG another factor for Shazam is his is his uh, pantheons the wisdom of Solomon is just too ratty like the wisdom of Solomon gives him information analysis he's going to know everything about Captain Marvel he's going to know her tricks he's going to know how how she fights what her abilities do and how they work so he's gonna know okay she absorbed energy and he's gonna know okay that's fine i'll just use my lightning and i and he'll know that he'll have the stat advantage he'll know he'll be more powerful thanks to the wisdom of solomon and the wisdom of solomon does work in combat situations it has been shown and he'll know to get around captain marvel so more often than not as much as i love carol danvers I have to give victory to Shazam, way too fast, the lightning is just built different, and his Greek pantheons, especially the Wisdom of Solomon, will prove way too useful for Shazam, and he'll just have the upper hand in the information department, and he'll know what he's getting himself into, so I have to lean more so with Shazam, but thank you guys for watching, leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for the content, it's been real, see you guys in the next one.